Next up, we have Matt Baker. Matt is Senior Vice President for Strategy and Planning at Dell Technologies. He works closely with Deepak to drive our cloud vision. Matt leads the development and implementation of an integrated set of business and technology strategies for Dell Technology. And he's our executive sponsor for the Tonzo Initiatives. So I'll hand the floor over to Matt. Take it away, Matt. Awesome, thanks, Bob. And first of all, thank you everyone for attending. Uh, we're super excited about what Tanzu offers to business. And let me just jump in with the first slide. I'm not gonna hit you with a bunch of slides today. I'm gonna just talk in general about um, what I think is important about Tanzu and how it fits into these, uh, all of this discussion of what is digital transformation, et cetera. So to me, speed is the killer app for Tanzu and for cloud native de development overall. Um, we talk a lot in the industry about digital transformation and, and everyone's like, well, what does that mean? At the end of the day, it really just means sort of the taking of traditional business processes or new business processes and codifying them in software. Therefore, the throughput of, of that innovation um, is central to accelerating your digital transformation. So all of that innovation around your business processes, developing the software to embody those new digital business processes and getting them out the door, that is the goal. And we see Tanzu as an extreme accelerant for doing that by offering a suite of solutions that are that developers can use to improve their productivity and ultimately drive a more mature DevOps experience where they, are, they as the devs are able to gain access to the resources that they need quickly, easily, deploy them, employ their CI CD pipelines, et cetera, and get those applications out the door that embody this digital transformation. That is, that is the goal. And that is what we deliver with Tanzu. So speed really is the killer app and really is what is going to set you know, one company in front of another in the future. We've seen this throughout this unfortunate pandemic that companies that are further along in their digital transformation journeys have fared far better. And one reason for that is that they've been able to quickly pivot their business processes and build new virtual business processes for interacting with their customers. And they do that with cloud native development. And so that's really what we think of Tanzu as an accelerant for digital transformation and something that creates a really mature and rational DevOps experience where the developers are able to get what they want and, and the, the operators are able to support that with a platform that complements those two communities. So what does that speed look like, Bob, if you can flip forward? VMware um, examined sort of a, a, a time and motion study from how developers and operators were uh, performing before Tanzu to how they're performing with Tanzu. And the results are fairly remarkable. Provisioning time 90% faster. You know, we want developers spending more time coding and, and innovating, not doing other menial tasks. And 70, uh, sorry, 37% more time coding when using Tanzu versus the prior. And again, speed is the killer app, way faster release times, releasing 61% faster. Um, these are the real tangible results of customers like yourselves who have implemented Tanzu and really accelerated their software development lifecycle. And then turning to ops, far more efficient, 69% more efficient in those day two post-release operations of applications. I mean, these are really big, remarkable numbers. And again, if speed is of the essence, Tanzu is the path to delivering that speed. And with that, I'll hand it back to Bob and we can move on to the next dis discussion and or answer some of these qu great questions that are coming in. Awesome, thank you, Matt. Definitely speed is the killer app here. Um, you know, one of the things that I think is interesting is how you know, to combine sort of the commentary that Deepak was making with what you were talking about here, Matt, is that all of this needs to come together in terms of VMware Tanzu software coming together with Dell Technologies hardware 
in order to make this happen. And so, you know, there's two things. One is kind of that startup phase and Deepak talked about the integration that we have between the VMware software and the Dell Technologies hardware. And the other one is what you referred to and Bass referred to as well, which is day two operations. And I think in some ways day two operations are even more critical because that's what you deal with day in, day out, if you will. So the ability to be able to, in an automated fashion, update software non-disruptively to include the VX rail or the, v or the uh, power edge software. And then to also extend that to the Tanzu software and the VMware stack is extremely powerful. The ability to stay up to date and fresh. Um, Absolutely. And, and Bob, I'd, I'd like to just real, real quick touch on something that I think is really important and what is embodied in, the, in a platform like Tanzu. You know, we talk a lot about DevOps, but we all know that devs and ops sometimes are a bit like cats and dogs, right? There's a, a set of tools that devs want and ops struggles to support them. We really think of these tools like Tanzu as building that real mature operating model around DevOps. These tools are designed for DevOps, right? And therefore there is a there is the, the wants and needs satisfied for the developers at the same time, the capabilities required by ops to support those developers. So, you know, there are a couple of questions about why is this better than other implementations of sort of basic Kates, et cetera. Well, the, the, the answer is, is that it's designed for DevOps and it really provides that point of view or, or system view that a developer wants of what they're doing versus what the operator wants, which is sort of that overall view of how well the overall enterprise is running. So that, that mature DevOps operating model is enabled by a platform like Tanzu. Absolutely, and what's really powerful is the fact that organizations can now take their existing virtual infrastructure admins and extend those skills to include containers and Kubernetes orchestration with what VMware has done around vSphere with Tanzu and VMware Cloud Foundation with Tanzu. Absolutely, and at, just to answer some of the questions that I've seen coming in um, in the Q&A box, uh, there was a question about when will um, uh, these extend off of VxRail? And the answer is is that, that, that they're available on, on all of the platforms today, right? So it's, it's, it's not like you can only get Tanzu on VxRail and you can only get um, these other elements like the Dell Technologies cloud capabilities adopting uh, VCF on uh, vSphere running on a, a standard power edge server is something you can do today and you can then buy alongside it uh, the Tanzu capability. So we have all of those offers available today uh, as a resell and, and, and coming soon as uh, packaged offers end to end across the portfolio of our infrastructure. Yeah, yeah. From towers to racks to uh, blades to ready nodes to and Correct. it really comes back to that, uh, as I talked about earlier, Tanzu on your terms, where are you in, you know, your strategy as far as how much responsibility you want to take for that implementation? That, that's right. That's right. Hey, Matt, I really appreciate your time. Thank you very much for joining. So, of course, and, and thank you all for, for being here. Mm -hmm.